The second one is the, the, the red dream. Those are where you're talking about the fruits. Fruits are what they call red dreams, right? And so in here, there's lots of fruits in here. There's pomegranate, cranberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry. The berries are, are the lowest in fructose. And so they definitely um, won't spike your blood sugar. And the sugar count, this one is two grams because it has sugar. The greens does not have, it has one gram of sugar. It's probably because of the monk fruit, okay? So with the reds, we have the berries. Um, th there's also acai, rhodiola, Siberian ginseng. So a couple of good things in the red juice is the reishi. It has the reishi mushroom. The reishi mushroom is what is, is commonly known as a mushroom of immortality, right? Who wants to be immortal? Uh, so the reishi mushroom, and we have cordyceps. Cordyceps actually is a Chinese herb. It's a Chinese herb that helps boost the immune system. Can you see how these can help you boost your immune system, right? So this is what we do. And there's rhodiola, it's an adaptogen. It balances your cortisol levels. Why do we need to balance our cortisol levels? We need to balance our cortisol levels because when we get stressed, we are something called our adrenal glands, right? I'm gonna write this down. This is vitally important, and we'll go in more detail about this, but the adrenal glands are one of the organs that help us adapt to stress. They sit right on top of your kidneys, okay? The adrenal glands. So they secrete something called cortisol. They also secrete something called adrenaline. They give us that fight or flight response fight or flight response, right? And so when we get, it's just like, you know, if a big dog was chasing you, you would be running away, right? Hopefully, right? And so in that instant, you have basically adrenaline and that's secreted by your adrenal glands because your adrenal glands are gonna help you run away, okay? Run away so you won't get bit in the butt by a dog, okay? So th that's the purpose of that. But the adrenal glands also secrete cortisol. Cortisol helps us it's also it helps us decrease inflammation but if it be, if your adrenal glands secrete too much then what's going to happen is cortisol causes sugar to go in your blood so we've got cortisol which causes sugar increase in sugar okay so if you get stressed so nowadays we don't have, let me get out of the way nowadays we don't have a dog chasing us all the time, right? And so nowadays we we have a artificial or a, uh, I'm saying an artificial dog, but a cyber dog, a cyber dog. Cyber dog is basically stress that that affects our brain. So when we get mentally stressed, like some people are freaking out because of the coronavirus, they're panicking. Well, that panic causes your adrenal glands to secrete cortisol. Cortisol causes your blood sugar to go up. Because when you're running away from a dog, you need energy. You get fast energy with sugar. And so that's what your body's doing. But nowadays, it's not a dog chasing us. It's actually just us getting stressed, okay? Us panicking, when we panic, then our body goes through the same cascade of reaction. Our body will secrete cortisol. Cortisol will raise your blood sugar to give you enough energy, okay?